fight the good fight. That's what the Bible tells us, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. You see, faith is a fight. Living for God is a fight, a daily fight, as a matter of fact. And when we're told to fight the good fight of faith, this means there is opposition, there is conflict, there's a resistance that needs to be overcome. There are two opposing sides. And what are these sides at war with each other? Well, Galatians 5 verse 17 says, For the sinful nature has its desire which is opposed to the spirit and the desire of the spirit opposes the sinful nature for these two the sinful nature and the spirit are in direct opposition to each other continually in conflict so that you as believers do not always do whatever good things you want to do there is a fight between our sinful nature and the Spirit of God within us. There is a fight between your will and God's will. There is a fight between your pride and selfishness versus obedience to God's word. When Jesus Christ was on this earth, he only did his Father's will. Christ did not live his life as a man according to his own wishes as many of us do. He lived for God. And Jesus Christ is our ultimate example of how to live and die in faith. The question is, what exactly is his example and how do we follow it? First and foremost, Jesus did not live this life according to his own desires. In fact, if you read John 5, it indicates that Jesus did not do anything purely on his own. Rather, he was given all judgment by the Father for the express purposes of doing what the Father does. The Bible says, Then Jesus answered and said to them, most assuredly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself but what he sees the Father do. For whatever he does, the Son also does in like manner. Jesus did not follow his own agenda, but his Father's agenda. Another aspect of fighting the good fight pertains to the two most important commandments we received from our Savior. Love our Lord God with all of our heart, mind, and soul, and then love our neighbors as we love ourselves. We exemplify this faith through following these two simple yet difficult commands. I'm sure we can all agree that it's a fight to love your neighbor all the time. There will be times when your neighbor will betray your trust, but you still have to love them. There'll be times when your neighbor will turn their back on you, but you still have to love them. You see, it's a fight to love your neighbor. And even in your own personal relationship with God, it's a fight to spend time in his word. It's a fight to pray consistently. It's a fight to chase holiness because we have to contend with our own sinful nature. But you see, this is the good fight of faith. This is what the fight is all about. Dear friend, let me encourage you today to keep on fighting. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. Dear Father, Lord, I pray for the person who's listening and feels as though they have no fight left within them. God, show yourself to be a God who gives strength to the weak. Show yourself to be a God who renews and gives power to the weary. Show yourself to be the God who fights our battles and certainly a God who has never lost a battle. Fill us with boldness and courage. 
Give us a fighting spirit. Give us a desire to fight in our daily schedules so that we can find time to be with you, to seek you, and to get to know you. Help us, Lord Jesus, and strengthen us. Help us to fight against discouragement. Help us to fight against unbelief. Help us to fight against the lies of the enemy. Good Lord, I pray that you would give us the spiritual endurance required in this battle. Renew our strength so that we can mount up with wings as eagles, so that we can run and not be weary, so that we can walk and not faint. The Bible in Ephesians 6 verse 12 to 13 says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Father, in this fight, we trust in you. Come what may from the kingdom of darkness, we put our trust in you. Some may put their trust in horses, some may put their trust in chariots, but we put our trust in the great name of Jesus Christ. You never forsake your children, Lord. You never abandon those who call on you. And for that, we are grateful. Father, at this time, I pray that each of us would fight to proclaim the name of Jesus Christ in this world. Regardless of who's against us, regardless of who's persecuting us, Father, give us the zeal, the strength, the power to declare your gospel with boldness. The Bible tells us to go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. Help us to spread the good news in a world filled with fear. Birth a fire in our hearts so that we can do all that we can to advance the agenda of the kingdom of heaven. King Jesus, may you increase in our lives as we decrease. May you be exalted and glorified. You are the God who preserves, the God who protects, and he who is always watching over us. We bless your holy name and thank you for your grace and mercy, Lord. Amen. Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. For the sinful nature has its desire which is opposed to the spirit, and the desire of the spirit opposes the sinful nature. For these two, the sinful nature and the spirit, are in direct opposition to each other, continually in conflict, so that you, as believers, do not always do whatever good things you want to do. Then Jesus answered and said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself but what he sees the Father do. For whatever he does, the Son also does in like manner. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand.
Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will be green and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit.